Kieran Conway. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations on your win yesterday um, against JJ Metcalf, who we know is a top opponent. Yeah. You've both shared a ring with Ted Cheeseman, and we know what that's like. So that's a credit to yourself for getting that win yesterday. Thank you very much. Well, right now we're in Northampton, which I believe is your hometown. Yeah. And your brother's just been on the stage and he's got a points win. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that, because I know he's out obviously talking with family, etc. So talk to us a little bit about what this means for your brother to obviously follow in your footsteps. Yeah, yeah, he's, um, yeah, being his first one, I'm sure there was, there was a lot of pressure on him, especially with me fighting last night um, and getting a good win. Um, but yeah, he's been waiting to get back into boxing for a long, long time. Uh, he's been hard, training hard in the gym with me and some of the other pros for a while because uh, he had a bit of a layoff. But so it's good to get that first one in. It's been years since he's been in a boxing ring anyway. Um, but now he's got that got that done. He can uh, get the train going now, get some momentum behind him, and get some wins under his belt. And yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good career because he's a good good boxer, very good boxer. And obviously speaking as a professional yourself, you know what it's like to get on the stage with those big bright lights. We saw that yesterday, an arena with 9,600 people in it. Yeah. You know, talk to us about what the small hall show means for fighters that are on their way up and how important these small hall shows are. These sort of shows are so, so good for fighters development, especially early on because you get your whole, you get your friends, you get your family, you get everyone, all your local people, everyone that knows you, they're going to be there. It puts a little bit of a kick up your backside um, and uh, it, it puts that a little bit of energy into you. And it gets you ready for the, for the bigger things to be fair as well because yeah, there's not as many people there, but it's, it's loud, it's cramped in, everyone's on top of you. And uh, there's still a lot. There's still a lot of eyes on you, and you, these are the eyes that, when you walk outside, they're gonna they're gonna know what's just happened in that ring. They're gonna know whether you won, lost, performed bad. So there's still pressure there. Um, so it's really good for fighters' development, I think, and it's really really important for that itself, the development of a fighter mentally, um, to get the courage and the the. the Kind of like just, preparing him for what's to come, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, I think it's vital for people. people some people they think that it's all about the bright light straight away. Get that experience under your belt first. That's what it's about. Get the experience. Know how it feels to have some pressure on you. Get get them small hall shows. Get them small hall fights in because they're very very important for lots of little, lots of reasons that all add up to the big picture. And uh, it's it's good. It's so good for fighters to get get this sort of thing. And you mentioned about pressure because obviously yes yourself big stage fighting last night and then he comes here as you know the day after as a debutant yeah. the stress that's going to be going through his head you know my brother performed I've got to do the same thing yeah. obviously you know your brother better than I do or our viewers do what do you think's going through his head when he's walking he's doing his ring walk and getting ready to do that debut I'd like to think that he just puts that bit to the side and uh, just focuses on him because that's what this is about at the end of the day. That's what the, that's especially, like, like I just touched on, the, the, these sort of shows, they're so good for them. Making it about you. Like, you're, you, you're in your town. You're in, you're in your area. It's about you. Like, he, I hope that he put my performances, my, my result to the side, and he's focused on him. And when did he decide that he was going to follow your footsteps, or he decided that he wanted to do boxing himself? He actually was a good amateur. He was a good amateur fighter at the same sort of time as me. Um, he racked up a lot of wins, I think he had about 50 fights. Um, won a few like area titles and things like that. But it just comes to a point where he just, he just got fed up. He lost that, lost that little hunger uh, to keep going training and doing all the bits that you've got to do. But he came back, he got in the gym with his pros, started training like a pro. And only maybe last year he might have said, yeah, I want to do it, I want to just have a go. And um, he's got nothing to lose at the end of the day. He's similar to me. I, I started with nothing, and I was I was fighting on small hall shows, with m making no money. But he's come here. He's bringing a crowd. He's keep, he's going to keep bringing that crowd, and he's just going to gain that experience. And wherever boxing will take him, it'll take him. And he's a good boxer. He just needs to get that get that mentality on point and uh, the experience under his belt. So you, as his bigger brother, then as a boxer yourself, and I'm presuming a boxing fan. Give us your, I don't know, your feedback on your brother's performance today on his debut. Uh, the, my feedback would be the first, first two rounds did exactly what he had to do. 
intense at his range. If it was, if it was inside his range, he took the opponent's game away from him. He did exactly what you've got to do. Um, third and fourth, the opponent started coming back into it. He made it a mess. Ryan's not experienced at the minute. He just needs that. He needs that sort of fire that's going to make it a mess and make Ryan work when he don't want to work, work in areas that he don't want to work in. And um, that's, all we need. that's all he needs at the minute. Fights like that, that are going to put him under pressure and make him work like a pro. I really appreciate your time and the fact that you've highlighted that the small horse shows are important because a lot of people think that you know you just get signed by a big promoter and yeah. you live happily ever after. Yeah. It doesn't always work like that. No. So it's good that you've actually highlighted that you yourself started on the small horse shows yeah. before you had your opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. So it's so important for fighters, so important and I'm so I'm happy that I got to do it this way because I, I didn't win the I didn't go to the Olympics, I didn't win loads of national and international titles um, I just had to start from where I started and work myself up. I've done it a hard way and I've learnt a hell of a lot in and out of the ring from doing that other fighter and also that means I've got progression and I can keep making progression some of the fighters jump the gun too early and they don't get to make that progression they don't get the experience of doing this either and this is really good really important and pe people will remember this forever people remember their first fight and they'll remember their first fight in their hometown forever and that's the important thing as well because it is in his hometown. He's yeah. made his debut at home yeah. and he can only go on yeah, to right, bigger right, and better right. things. Yeah, yeah. Um, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. I know your brother's out and about. If I can grab him in a bit, I will. Yeah. But well done on your win. Thank and you very much. what's next for yourself? Um, hopefully, there's been things been mentioned. There's been multiple routes, titles, etc. Um, but for this week, we're going to chill out. I'm gonna have a good good time, like just at home, chilling out. Not not really thinking too much about boxing. I, I'm I've been busy. I've been I've had a busy year um, in the ring in boxing. So I'm gonna chill out for this week, and we're gonna sit down and look at options and come to a decision with my team, management, a match room, and etc. And uh, we're gonna have something big planned for the end of the year or beginning of this next year. And that's the benefit for your brother because he's watching all of this. Yeah. He's learning from everything that you're doing that will stand him in a good stead for his pro career. So he's really in a good position. Very good. I, I hope that I can help I can help as much as I can for my brother. Um, he is my younger brother, so hopefully hopefully I can make a good footprint that he can put his into. Yeah, and that I believe you will. October Red Boxing here with the lovely Kieran Conway. Thank you very much for speaking with us no today. Problem. Thank you very Take much. Care. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.